Hi everyone, I'm Roxy and if you're new to my channel, I'm so happy to have you here and if you've always been here, then welcome back. In today's video, I will be reviewing my $12 Amazon bag. Yeah, you heard me, $12 Amazon tote bag. I'm gonna give you all the details as well as what's in my bag. This is the $12 bag that I got from Amazon. It's actually $11.53, but I'm just rounding it off to $12. This is gonna be my work bag. So this is a what's in my work bag for 2021 minimalist edition, only my essentials. As you can see, it is pretty big, which is exactly what I wanted because I wanted to use this for work. I did go back and forth with getting this bag, but I'm so happy I did because I am obsessed with it. So I got it from a brand called Drubia. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that name, quite well but I will have everything linked down below on the exact site where I got my tote bag. So I was looking for one like this for a really long time because I love oversized totes and I always tend to carry a lot of things in my work bag. You'll see that that has changed quite a lot especially since I'm leaning towards a more minimalist lifestyle. So my bag does not have a crazy amount of things like it did in the past. I chose the color pink and I love it so much. It is a pebbled faux leather. First up, let me say that this is not gonna feel like a LV or a really high-end bag. It is $12, but for only $12, this feels and looks really good. The amount that you're paying for it, it definitely does not feel very, very cheap. I am obsessed with all things tassel. As you can see, there's a little tassel on one end. So the bag came in this big plastic bag. The only thing at first that there was, was that because the bag was folded a little bit, it had a crease on it, but I've been using it for a week now and that crease has completely God, it would have been at the bottom when the bag was folded for shipping. So the bag has literally no creases in it, which is so good. At the front here, there is just this stitching. Other than that, the bag has no other stitching or detailing on it. They also included this scarf inside of it. This is not my style though, but I mean, you can use this as a headband or something like that or put it onto another bag. But on this bag, this is not gonna go on it. Let me just say they have tons of color options for this bag. I chose the shade pink, but there are like a million different types of pink, so you can go through it and see which one you liked. I was kind of nervous to see if this would be the pink shade that I wanted, and it definitely is this beautiful blush pink shade that I am so obsessed with because it literally is me. It is myself, this bag is me. So inside is extremely, extremely spacious, and that is what I was looking for. I love a good spacious bag. There's also a clip on top that you can like seal your bag with. This bag does not have a zip, so it's not gonna seal completely shut except for that one little clasp on top. So if you're looking for a bag with a full zip and that closes fully, this is not the bag for you. I only use this from home to work and then back again. So I don't really need my bag sealed up like that. So that doesn't really bother me. But for only $12, you literally can't go wrong with a bag like this if you're just looking for something really inexpensive to go around with. So inside of the bag there is one pocket which is really really big but I did want more structure to my bag so I decided to purchase an Amazon purse organizer which ended up being a lot more literally twice as much as the bag so you don't have to get the insert organizer it's only if you want to like have things specifically in a certain place other than that if you're okay with it floating around in your bag, that is totally fine. I did that with all of my other bags, but I wanted a little bit more structure in this bag, especially. So this is the purse organizer I got, and it is this beige color, which I think went really well with the bag, because I didn't want to get a pink on pink, just in case it was a different shade. So I went with something really neutral, and I'm happy with that. I'm going to show you the insert organizer in a little bit more detail towards the end of the video. But now I'm just gonna share with you a few items that are in my bag and like I said, I'm keeping it very minimalist, just simple with all of my essentials in it only. First up, I have my notebook. This is one of my master notebooks and I mentioned this in one of my videos on how I actually get things done. If you wanna hear a little bit more about my master notebook, you can definitely check that video out. And next up, I of course have my pencil case. It is pink. I have to have a pencil case in my bag because I just always have a fear of not having a pen to write with and I love to write. So that is like a really big fear of mine. <laughs> next up, I have my car keys. And as you can see, there is a pink tassel. This also helps me to find my keys really, really easily so I don't have to be digging through my bag. I have a book that I'm reading and this is called Blowing My Way to the Top by Jen Atkin. I know of Jen 
from her affiliation with the Kardashians. I am a Kardashian fan, like what am I to say? Like, is the truth? So I'm keeping it in my bag in case I ever am out and uh, I don't wanna scroll, I rather just like pull out my book and start reading it. I have my budget planner. So this is a product from my stationery store. It has these cash envelopes as well as spending trackers. So I carry this out with me so that I will not be spending more than I should be and I can like really stay into that budget. Cause let me just say that budget life is a serious kind of life. So serious. I just need to stop spending crazily and need to be accountable, which is why I love my budget planner so much. So my actual wallet is not in my bag. I have my budget planner with a specific amount of money so that I will not go overboard with my spending and I really love this so far I love how it's working I love the system behind it I have some roasted pumpkin seeds so this is a very simple snack it just literally has pumpkin seeds cayenne paprika lime and sea salt just five ingredients which is definitely the kind of snack that I'm aiming towards so I have this in case I'm just out and about in the car or something and just need a quick snack so this will prevent me from getting anything processed or just leaning towards getting something that is unhealthy and not with the kind of lifestyle that I'm wanting to have right now of course in this time and life Life. We have sanitizer at all times as well as um, face mask. So I have an extra mask here. I always have one in my car. And then this one is my bag in case of anything. I have my Ray-Bans. I actually got this gifted because I was working with a brand and I'm so in love with it. This is definitely my style. Like, let me just show you. Let me just show you. So this is how it looks. <laughs> this is literally me. So as soon as I saw it, I knew. I literally knew that this was calling to me it had my name on it so i just keep that in my bag now i'm so in love with it did i mention that like 50 times so far next up i have my water bottle one of my main goals is cutting down on plastic and single use plastic in particular which is why i have my water bottle i love that it has the timestamps on it as well as the gold cover and i just whenever i'm feeling it this is what i'll drink instead of going towards something sugary and just not up my vibe <laughs> the last few items let me just repeat that the last few items can you believe that this is my work bag like I said I'm really trying to live that minimalist life and this is just a reflection of that and I'm trying really hard to maintain it so far it's been like that since I got this bag which was for about a week so I have high hopes okay really high hopes so I have my perfume this is a scentbird perfume and I also love that it comes in this kind of packaging to protect your perfume this is not sponsored by the way some liners two scrunchies in here just in case I don't have this one with me I'm such a scrunchy girl right now it is not funny like I always have this on my hand it was not in my hair a little mini from the balm this is so important to me because I have eczema so I can literally start itching randomly and it's not a comfortable feeling I have an entire video on my my eczema journey so I can link that up here or down below but I always keep this in case I feel a tingly itch coming on I know it sounds gross but that is life the other item that I didn't show is my laptop I kind of go back and forth between carrying it in my bag because ever since I got an iMac for work I don't really need to carry my laptop with me all the time in my work bag so it's not really that much of an essential, but I thought I would mention it in case. So that is what was in my $12 Amazon bag. And if you were thinking about it and just wanted something really inexpensive, but still looks really, really good, this is a great option that you can check out and you literally can't go wrong with it. My bag is not really that heavy, but I don't recommend filling it up with like really heavy textbooks or something like that. But what is in my bag right now, this is really good. And even with my laptop in it, I don't feel as if my bag is gonna burst out or anything like that. So I just wanted to mention that to you. Don't go filling it up with like 10 pound items, okay? I'm gonna show you a little bit more details about the organizer that is inside of it. So if that is something that you are interested in, so this is the extra large purse organizer and uh, this is in the color beige. I wanted something neutral like I mentioned because I didn't want to have clashing shades of pink and the neutral color can go with any bag I ever decide to have. So inside of it, it has this first pouch which you can pull out. It has some Velcro like this so you can pull it out. But I don't keep this one in my bag. My mom actually took this one and she put it in her bag so she can just go ahead and put some of her documents in it. You just basically pull this out and you have this entire tote, which I think is such a great idea. For me, this is what I have in my bag. So one thing I will say is that this is the extra large size, but you might want to size down and take a large if you're going with the bag that I purchased. 
This one doesn't fit perfectly in it, it's a little bit too big but I still love it because it still organizes my items perfectly and this will be a great option for whenever I decide to have an even bigger bag. So I'm going to share how I pack it and how I put it into my tote. So that's basically how I pack my bag and as you can see there are two compartments out in front, a big pocket at the back here so it has a ton of space in this. Inside of here you have three pockets and in the back here you have two bigger ones. So you have a lot of space in this organizer so I'm putting it into my bag now and as you can see it has a lot of structure to the bag. It fits all my items perfectly. If my MacBook needs to fit inside of here it will just go in one of the pockets at the back. You can see that the organizer can definitely expand even bigger so that's why I recommend sizing down but this is perfect for me right now. I just love the neutral shade and I think it went really well with the pink bag. Definitely such a good Amazon purchase and the $12 tote bag is literally my favorite thing from Amazon. I'm so obsessed with it. The organizer like I said is just optional if you want a little bit more structure to your bag but you definitely don't have to purchase the purse organizer. So this is how Pretty and functional my work bag looks. Every time I see it, it gives me a little bit of inspiration and a burst of happiness to get to work knowing that it's so functional, organized, and of course, so cute. So that is the end of what is in my work bag for 2021, my minimalist edition, as well as a review of this $12 Amazon bag. If you've seen this bag around and you were thinking about it, definitely go for it because for $12, you're definitely getting a good buy. I will have this bag linked down below as well as my Amazon shop front so you can see what other items I purchased from Amazon. Thumbs this video up if you enjoyed it and let me know if you would ever buy a $12 Amazon bag. Don't forget to subscribe because it is free. I have so much amazing lifestyle and productivity content that I don't want you to miss out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.